Hey YouTube, how's it going? Uh, just a quick video here about hydroponics. I have uh, decided to do some hydroponics this year. And all I have here, just to show you guys, is just a simple five gallon bucket. And I'm using this bucket to grow a jalapeno pepper. I have uh, three other bucket setups just like this out of my deck. I thought I'd bring this one in and just do a video and show you guys that uh, with a simple five gallon bucket that you can do hydroponics in. And it is very easy to do. It is not difficult at all. And it's simple and it's fairly, fairly inexpensive. I mean, the, the cost isn't too, too much, but it's doable and it works. And uh, I thought I would share with you guys what I do. Maybe give you guys some ideas. So all this is, like I said, it's just your basic five gallon bucket. There's really nothing there that's, you know, you haven't seen before. Uh, and inside, what we have is now this is just this little pod cup here. And you can see I've got these little round clay balls here. And all you do is you just, hold out and show you guys, see how the roots are already starting, to, already starting to grow. So all you do in these cups is you just, you put a few of these clay pellets in the bottom of the cup. And then you take your plant after you've grown it in, maybe you have a starter plant or maybe you went to the uh, to your local um, store and bought some starters, you can do that as well. And after you have your plant you, 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 and you have the clay pellets in the bottom of the cup, you put your plant in, in the cup, and then you fill the rest of the cup with these pellets. Super easy, super simple. Now, the other thing you do is that you take inside here, you'll see that I have the... See, there's the cup, right, with the roots. Okay, so what you want to do inside the, the bucket is you just fill the bucket about three quarters full. And what the, the purpose is, is when the cup goes inside the hole that you cut in the top of the bucket, you want the water to just be touching the bottom of the cup. And all you have to do is you just have a look inside, right? And this is going to be tough to see because it's dark. But inside where the cup comes through the, the lid, the bottom of the cup should just be touching the water that's inside the bucket. And that acts as you know the, your watering mechanism, right? The roots will start to grow, the roots will reach through the bottom of the cup, just like you see here, right? And the roots are reaching for the water, and that's how you water your, your plant. And what will eventually end up happening is, is over time you'll end up having to transfer, in some cases, because these get pretty big, you have to transfer the plant from a five gallon bucket into a, like I say, like maybe a bigger, a bigger pail. I have a, a garbage can that I went out and bought and used that. Um, but it's, this is a great way to grow vegetables. This is a, a, an excellent way to grow vegetables. If you've never done this, uh, I would, I would recommend it. It's, it's, it's really great. It works really well. Now you're probably wondering what formula I use because obviously hydroponics you have you know different formulas um, and you know mixtures to make you know to help the plants grow because they need fertilizer so I'm going to show you guys what I use now this here is what I use I use the master blend tomato formula I use magnesium sulfate and calcium nitrate now if you you look at this picture right now you see that each bag is part one, part two, part three. Now I will put in the description afterwards uh, the exact formula and the, the the mixture that I use, uh, how many you know teaspoons and tablespoons I use, because you're going to need that information to make sure that your mixture is is correct. Otherwise, you'll put in too much or too little, and the plants just won't grow. But this is the blend formula that I use. Um, it says Gecko Grow there. Now, I, obviously, I'm not a Gecko Grow sponsor. This is just the company that I bought it from online. And up here in Canada, they, they, they're a supplier. So, um, yeah, this is not a plug for Gecko Grow. I just, they happen to be the, the online company that I, I purchased these products from. They work really great. And again, I will put the, dis I will put the ingredients list in the description uh, for those of you that are interested so that you can do the exact same thing that I'm doing and have something that starts to look like this. Now, last season, 
uh, my wife and I did an experiment with this because we'd never done this before. And we thought, well, let's just do an experiment, see how well it goes, and then if it works, we will try it again. And I can tell you that although I didn't do a video from last year of this, uh, we did do exactly this. We just did normal bell peppers in this exact setup with the, with the bucket and the hydroponics, and it worked really well. We had really nice, really nice bell peppers, and we had two buckets, and it really did work well, and we actually got quite a few green peppers off of it. So this year we thought, let's change it up. Let's try jalapenos, and so far so good. Uh, when I started these buckets last week, uh, yeah, 10 days ago, not last, yeah, about 10 days ago, uh, these these were just little starter plants that I, we put in here, and they've already you know grown this much in about 10 days. So no complaints, they are doing well, and uh, the nice thing about having these buckets is they have they have a handle, so you can pick them up and move them around you know, different places in your yard, your deck, your you know, your lawn, wherever is convenient for you, you can pick it up and move it. I will also uh, tell you guys that you also need to check the water level on these uh, about every three weeks. Uh, that was what we did last season and it seemed to work well. Because obviously, uh, the, you know, the, the roots, as the plant grows, the roots are reaching for the water. They're sucking up the water. The water level goes down in the bucket. And you can run these dry and the plant will die. So... I just wanted to let you guys know that make sure you're checking your water level every three weeks. And I would also add that you should look to redo your formula around that time. And again, all you're doing when you get to that point is you're just, you know, taking your, you can take your, your plant, your, your cup in here, you can just take it, it'll just come right out. And when you lift it out, there'll be a big wad of roots. And you can just put it in another you know, a, a bowl or a, you know, a small bucket with water in it just for the temporary time being. You can empty out the water that's in the bucket and then re remake a brand new formula and put the cup back in and start all over again. And the plant will just carry on. It'll just keep on going and you will have nice vegetables uh, when it's done. Um, one other thing I will mention is that from my experimentation so far, Jalapenos work, cucumbers work with this 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 setup, and green peppers work. Um, obviously, tomatoes will work as well. I haven't done any tomatoes yet, but obviously, tomatoes will work with this as well um, because well, it says tomato formula right on the bag, so that's what the, this was intended for. And I have seen other videos out there where people have used this formula with um, tomatoes, and it works just fine. So. Anyways, I wanted to share that with you guys and show you another idea that you can do uh, to grow vegetables for yourself and produce some food for your family. So, all right. I hope that helps. I hope you guys like it. Uh, leave uh, questions, comments, and I will uh, see you guys on the next video. Enjoy the rest of your day.